But it shall come to pass, if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all His commandments and His statutes, which I command you today, that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Now remember, they're standing before the Jordan River, just getting ready to cross over into the Promised Land. What a great pep talk. God said, by the way, you disobey me, you die. Now y'all have a good time. I'll part the water for you one more time. If you don't follow me, and it continues, then the Yahweh will scatter you through all the people from one end of the earth to the other, and there you shall serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known, wooden and stone. He continues, there are, These are the words of the covenant which Yahweh commanded Moses to make the sons of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Mount Sinai. So basically, he gives a covenant in Mount Sinai. This is the next generation, okay? This is the original, you know, X generation, if you will, or whatever. This is the new generation. Their parents had watched all these miraculous things happen. And the next thing you know, Yahweh says, I'm not, you are the new generation. You weren't necessarily there, but I'm going to reiterate the words of the covenant. On top of the covenant that I gave your fathers, I'm going to put this covenant in your, in your lap. If you do not obey me, I will allow you to be taken into captivity, and I will scatter you out throughout all all of the earth. Now you'd think that they would absolutely heed this call, but they don't. Verse 14, neither with you only do I make this covenant. This is key, listen up. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him who stands here with us today before Yahweh our God, and also with him who is not here today. What does that mean? Not only for the physical people that are in this room, but every single person that comes after you for generations to generations to generation, for generations to come, all the way till the Messiah comes back, I'm speaking to them. See, Yahweh doesn't just speak to one group of people because he's up there and we are a ping pong ball. So when he speaks, it revolves around the earth. He speaks to us for all generations. He's outside of time, amen? Let's continue. And who are these people that he's talking about? Those that are of the promise, those children of the covenant, and all future Israelites, and anyone that would attach themselves to the Israelites. 